marking a big day for all those who sat their GCSEs this year. More than 30,000 of them got their results today. Their grades are based on the first set of summer exams held since 2019, before the pandemic. And the number who got A or A star was down slightly on last year, and that was to be expected. But they did outperform their counterparts in England and Wales. Our education correspondent, Robbie Meredith, has more. A few tense faces as pupils and some of their parents arrived to find out GCSE results at Bangor Academy this morning. But after envelopes were opened, lots of smiles, including for twins Maya and Beth, who both got plenty of A's and A stars. Just such relief. So I'm so happy with what I've got now. I'm very surprised as well, because I thought I'd get lower than I did, but I did, I did pretty good, so I'm happy. Their mum, Liesl, was very proud, but wanted to praise the twins' teachers. They've had nothing but support and help for all the teachers here, and this has just been proof of the pudding. For others, good results mean a change of plans. I was thinking of going over to the Cirque to do hairdressing, but now that I've actually seen my results here, I'm going to come back to sick form and continue on here. Today's all the more notable for the disruption young people have faced and the return of grades based on exams. I just did plenty of revisions, so. but I think it was quite hard on some people because of the two years of missing education and stuff. You can't really change what's on the paper, so you know I, did, I went into this just not really nervous at all. I, but I knew plenty of people that were nervous, but you can't change what's on the paper. And the principal's own son was also getting his results today. He's pleased, and we're pleased, so he's got into sixth form, so he's coming back next week and start his sixth form journey as well, so really good. They don't have much time to celebrate though. Many will be back to school or starting further education or apprenticeships next week. Robbie Meredith, BBC Newsline.